Germany round 14. Um, so he didn't do the uh, USSR destroyer move. Uh, he didn't build anything in Karelia, actually. He, I think, built artillery. Yeah, he built two artilleries. He's trying to uh, counter me a bit here. Things are not looking great on this game right now. Um, I need some kind of a play to get things going. He's got 71, 14, 112. And I can attack with 45, 9, 35. And only four fighters and a bomber, because I can't bring these two fighters into the, into the battle. Um, pretty sad 20% uh, chance. Um, I think I'm going to attack this and this. I think I'm going to uh, try and fuck the British up a little bit here. Pardon my French. Um, so let's think about that for a moment. I want a new bomber and... These transports can now no longer reach Berlin. In fact, they can't even reach Paris either. So let's do that with five infantry and three tanks. Plus the bomber. Right, I built a bomber, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to spend my bomber attacking here. And I'm going to take back this. So one tank, maybe two tanks, and two fighters ought to do it. Try and just grab these land bits. Yeah, that'll do. It's really good, um, you know, possibilities in a battle like this. Like if you look at this battle, you know, bomber versus transport, three transports and a destroyer. Um, what that actually looks like on the calc. Um, you know, it says 57-42, right? So, you know, odds in my favor, roughly, you know, 60-40. But what it doesn't tell you is sort of the different outcomes that can happen, right? So there's like a 57% chance of I get a 29 IPC advantage because I kill all the transports. And a slim chance of minus 12, like 14.7% chance where, you know, I lose the bomber and I get nothing. And then a 28% chance where I kill the destroyer, but I lose the bomber, which is minus 4. So that situation's not that bad. Um, so it's actually a lot of situations that are good for me, and some of them really good. So like the total sort of expected value of the battle, the profit from it is really positive. So that's the kind of thing where um, uh, you want to do battles like this that have a good profit, even necessarily, you know, the odds aren't great. It's not always about the odds, right? I love attacking stacks of transports that only have one destroyer. Now, knowing my luck in this game, I'm going to lose this thing, so fingers crossed. I missed. He missed. Whew, let's do it again. I hit. And he hit. So we're in the minus four situation. And he gets to keep his transports. Darn. Really wanted those transports dead. Because now he can just bring them back and build a new destroyer. <laughs> kind of don't get another shot at that. Nice clean kill in Corellia. Okay. Got uh, West Russia. And uh, Kazakh. I think I actually captured Kazakh. I've been just sort of like, strafing it lately, so that's a change. I'm going to try and make something happen here. I'm going to go one, two, like this. Is there a place where I could hit these transports? And Russia, but he couldn't hit me. No, because if I can hit Russia, then he can hit me, right? Like if I'm here. It's one, two, three, four, that's out of range. If I'm here, it's one, two, three, four, and it's only one, two, three, and nowhere to land for him. That's kind of cool, actually. So I'm actually safe here in, with the fighters in, uh, in Finland. Do I want to defend Corellia more? I don't think so. I'm not in danger of a VC snipe right now. So, so we'll let it be. You know, he could take this with the UK and then attack me with the American fighters, and then the American fighters would be stranded in Corellia. I don't think that would be worth it in any calculation that I can do. 
Okay, bomber here, infantry here. And tanks. Not a bad turn. Really would have liked to have killed those transports, but I don't think they can survive now. He has to kind of bring them back and build, and he'd be defending against two fighters and a bomber. Time for Japan, round 14. The old see how long I can survive thing here. So he just has the one infantry and eight fighters in range, so I'm a little bit safe for now. Um, some stuff going on down here. Let's see what he did as USA, because I'm kind of interested in that. New IC in Philippines, okay. Kwangtung, Alaska. Killed a destroyer, killed a transport destroyer, lost a submarine. Mobilized the complex to Philippines, transports, East Indies. Hold on, season 37. Oh, so he's building transports down here. Okay, so that's not as much of a threat to me. It takes a couple of turns to bring them in. It also means I can't hit them early with my fighters, so... A little trade-off there. Um, I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to build all infantry this turn. I'm a little worried about him actually going for Japan, like trying to target me, so... We're just going to stack up the inf, and we'll play it that way. For combat, there's really nothing I want to do, because I really need these uh, fighters. I could attack this. <laughs> That'd be funny, eh? Take out his infantry? Then I wouldn't be in danger, but I'd have nowhere to land, right? Like, if I landed here, he could attack me with eight fighters against six. That'd be kind of wild. I could attack it with one, right? It's like when he attacks, he can choose the casualty, but when I attack, the infantry just dies. You know, it's not going to achieve anything except to, he can't attack, can't take it this turn anyway. Um, let's look at that. Um, I'm going to do it with one. I think it also prevents him from like taking the VC by walking, it prevents him from taking my income, like delays him by a whole turn up here. So, I think maybe it's worth it. And if he wants to kill the fighter, he's going to have to send, like, a tank or his own fighters or something like that and commit me in a little battle, which is kind of costly for him. What did UK do? Just build fighters. Okay, combat. Is he giving up on those transports? Yep. So he's pretty much abandoned these transports. That's nice. Didn't get them in the first German turn. I get him in the second German turn. Um, Venki. Norway. Okay, so he brought them down here and brought some infantry over. Okay, Kazakh failed. Love it. Love it. Karelia <coughs> took it. So maybe he's planning to do the American strike against my fighters here. Not sure. And West Russia failed to take it. Nice. That's good all around. Makes him commit Russians if he wants the income. He does have the one tank, so he could do like a, a blitz in out, or he could come here and grab something like Ukraine. I'm just going to do the one attack. That was sad. <laughs> Maybe I should have sent two. <laughs> um, Non-com. Alright. We are going to head east or south or something here. Let's go this way. Keep him on his toes a little bit here. Try and protect this VC if I can. Because he can't fight me here and here at the same time. Not yet, anyway. Alright, not great. I'm losing my attack power edge, and I'm not getting much for it. Over to you, Battlescotch. Scotch. 